we're back with vermeil in gold and i i, I honestly kind of kind of salty that i missed out on on a couple of the last two episodes because i actually enjoy them especially the exam i love a good badass moment so let's hope that for this episode we get the same now last episode we had that low light dude that's the villain uh show up to the test right We already know Alto is going to ace it. Like, that dude is already smart. And the physics on that don't even make sense. He sub says, yep, there you go. Dude, look at their eyes. They don't even have souls. And is that test like 20 pages long? That's smart. That is extremely smart. Is he done already? I mean, he's a, he's a platinum level, right? So this test must be super easy for him. Plus, on top of that, he's an imposter right now. So he's, he probably don't even care about taking the test. I got a feeling that dude is going to fail miserably. Or at the very least, make the minimum amount. I wonder if the test is harder this year because they're preparing for something, right? Like if they're trying to get quality candidates because they're getting ready for war or whatever the case may be. Or maybe they're just kind of tired that a lot of people are slacking by and passing the test. Bro, this dude is going to just completely... Yep, there it is. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. He got done. And he probably got a perfect score, right? Right? Like I feel like... Exactly. Like you can't be doing that in the middle of a test. That is a very uh, odd thing to say. Damn. So that's probably what he meant, right? So are we actually gonna see this guy fight Alto? It's about to go down, ain't it? Okay, that looks like a tanky familiar. Or maybe we'll get to see that guy fight. I mean, he looks like he can definitely fight. Oh, damn. So that means he knows. He knows who he is and what he is and who he, and who's his familiar. So interesting. Bro, this dude is going to get one shot in. Damn. I mean, talk about getting one shot in. Oh, here we go. This guy. Did, did, did they tell us what his level was? Was he also a platinum square? Maybe? Maybe gold? Bro, those little shards are doing nothing. Now, I'm guessing that the instructor, like the cool looking guy, is going to see Alto fight here and he's going to be like, yeah, you pass. You're, you're a, a bronze square. Oh, I thought he died. He's not dead. Okay. The youngest mage. Damn. So he's, he's the real deal. So he's definitely on a whole different level. So he cannot lose to Alto here, right? Oh, is that who they were talking about? The guy that, that got perfect score on everything? Damn. Yeah, so he better he better live up to the hype. If he doesn't live up to the hype, I'm going to be disappointed. Maybe he'll explain his plan right now. Damn, that's different type of magic, right? Oh, he summoned a staff? Dude, this thing has cannons now? Like, damn. Okay. Yeah, that's some destructive power, I'm sure. Bro, they just, <laughs> that didn't even take any effort at all. She just walked in. This is transference magic. What is that like? Is that like the dark magic that that guy was using? To, uh, who is this? So like they can't get through it. Is it acting like a shield? Damn. Okay, Alto. Alto is over here dodging little magic bullets. And this guy too. Okay. Damn, bro. These, this dude is getting jumped and he's still like... I'm guessing he's not going all out either. 
he's still like you know putting up a huge fight like he's not even trying just look at that he's just smiling and you know doing his thing damn so that's that's the difference between like a prodigy and and somebody like alto i would guess right where alto is a prodigy but he's probably at the very beginning of that prodigy journey right Damn, the whole thing is gone. So he was he was after Vermeil, huh? Damn. Oh, Alto is gonna pop off. Yeah. If you heard Vermeil, it's GG well played. He's gonna blow up, like literally. I don't know what he's gonna do. Oh, here we go. We got that golden aura, the mana. Oh yeah, he's see. He's doing the little, you know, walking up to the to the uh, enemy. You can't see the eyes. Classic anime trope. He's gonna get one shotted. Damn. Remember before those little popsicles were doing nothing. Yeah, there it is. That badass walk. Okay, 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 Alto. Yeah, he's man. He's big man. Silver mana. That looks gold to me. Maybe I need to adjust my uh no, never mind, it does look silver now. I don't know, it looked like gold before. I don't know. He just summoned two of them. Damn. And they're a lot okay, I was gonna say that they, they tanked the hit, so they were stronger, but nope. They're still getting one shot it. Oh, you're getting worse. See that don't tell that looks like gold, right? That is gold. Gold, and then the outside is silver, but it's still gold. Damn, dude, it's just going on a whole other level. Ooh. That was in the shoulder, though. Oh, yeah. We saw that familiar in, like, episode 8 or 6. That's probably, like, his main familiar, right? Oh, he knows something. He knows something. Uh, and it's probably going to be a big, like, secret, big little plot twist. Destroy the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, that, that's what every cliche villain wants to do. So, hey, he knows. He knows. So he's out here collecting demons like they're Pokemon cards. Okay. Ooh, is he going to tell Alto about her past and what makes her bad? Damn, bro. Like he like Alto was moving so slow. I really like him. I really like him. What? I didn't know she could use that form. I thought that only happened because uh, she was being controlled. I'm guessing this is her, her, like, real form, what she looks like. Bro, this Lolo light is just different level. Different level, 100%. He sealed, he sealed it, right? Damn. Alto, he's still fighting. Not giving up, okay. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Alto, because it seems to me like you're powerless right now. You're going to have to come up with something. Yeah, he's going to do something. He's going to unleash. Oh, okay. Book, the, the book back is glowing. Wonder how, I wonder what that is. Maybe it was, uh, what's her name? Uh, I forgot her name. The pink hair girl. Right? Maybe. Oh, interesting. The book. That's Vermeil's book, right? Maybe there's more power in there, like a like a next level. Or he's gonna summon another demon. Oh, that's the girl we saw like at last episode. Is she a demon? She's a demon. She's a demon. Just the way she's behaving right now. Quite suspicious. You already know I don't trust no demons. I am the mage of beginnings. So okay, maybe maybe she's not a demon. Oh. Maybe Alto is her ancestor, maybe? 
Okay. Interesting. I was kind of thinking that Vermeer was so horrible that she needed to be sealed. You know what I mean? She was out here rampaging and killing people. Because I did lots of naughty things. Yep. Maybe she was rampaging and doing some really messed up things. I don't know. But the implication of using the word naughty, you know. Yeah, like, come on now. We all know. We knew he was going to accept her no matter what. Loyalty. I like it. I mean, bro, you, you let them talk this whole time. You might as well let them finish. You know what I mean? Go ahead, bro. Put it in. So I'm guessing this is going to unlock for meals full potential, like full power. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to go back in time, right? And we're going to see... This is probably going to be a test where we see what Vermeil did, her naughty things, her memories. Yeah, we're going to go through her memories. And then if Alto decides to forgive her or accept her for everything that she did, boom, she's going to become OP. Oh, this is a different type of test. He has to save Vermeil. What does that entail? Is that baby Vermeil? Yeah. We have seen a couple flashbacks where we see Vermeil kind of like as a kid crouching down. So she, she definitely de dealt with some trauma. Maybe she was a good demon. You know what I mean? Maybe not all demons are evil, right? She seems like a very happy kid. Something must have happened. Um, very curious to see what that is. All right. That was episode 10 of Vermeil in Gold. Now, this episode, pretty cool. Uh, we got a pretty big fight. We got to see Lolo Light, whatever his name is. That dude is OP. I mean, he took on Alto Vermeil and then the other Magic Knight, whatever his name is, which seems to be like a high-level person. And of course, we learned that he's also the one person that has gotten the perfect score in all the tests. Bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and, and, and everything in between, right? So the dude is definitely backing up his talk, okay? He's like getting jumped. He's not being faced by it. He's powerful. So now I am curious to see what's going to happen in the future, right? We're going to see Vermeil's past. I've kind of been curious about this because if, you, if you've been seeing my reactions, you already know I don't trust Vermeil whatsoever. She's a demon. Don't trust demons, okay? It doesn't matter what they tell you, what they promise you. Do not trust demons. That's an advice you get here, okay? Free of charge. But yeah, I never trusted Vermeil. And throughout all these episodes, you know, she has come to, you know, kind of gain my trust, you could say, right? Because she shared her heart with Alto after he died. So, you know, she does care about Alto, but I don't know. You know, I'm still kind of like 90% trusting her and 10%, you know, kind of looking at her with, you know, glaring eyes because she's a demon. You're not supposed to trust demons. So hopefully this little flashback into her memories are going to show us how she became a demon or, or what happened in her past that caused her to want to be sealed and stuff like that. So overall, it was a pretty good episode. Uh, the last two episodes were also pretty good. Sadly, I couldn't do reactions again because everything that happened. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought of this episode. And like always, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. Peace out. Boom.